Hi scrappy friends, this is Hannah with you and I am working on my first layout for for the Love of Homemade Kits, the January kit. There is a ton of ladies who have joined in with Christina and I, so I will make sure that those ladies videos for their first layout are in the info box below. Um, there also is a playlist. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, so let's get to what I'm doing because I didn't show me doing the media because I had did this during Christina's scrap party and I was working on a whole bunch of backgrounds and so this is just some uh, acrylic paint. It's like a pink and uh, corally color so it's like peachy. And I just did some lines. So super simple, nothing really crazy. Um, I don't know where I went, but <laughs> I went somewhere. Um, and then this is a photo that I am using. It is not black and white, but it's mostly black and white. So it's going to look really awesome with the colors. And it's funny because I thought I was making, um, a kit where I'd use a lot of fall photos. And so far, I don't know if I've used too many fall photos. So well, this is only my second layout, but yes, yeah, so I'm super excited. Now, as you can see on that layout, I accidentally put other media on there on purpose. <laughs> don't, I, I'd like to say don't ask me how that happened, but I know how it happened. I put it on there and realized that that was probably not the smartest idea while I was first putting it on because I didn't use any gesso. So a lot of times if I'm using mixed media like acrylic paint, I won't add gesso because I just feel like it bulks it up more and buckles it more than I want it to it's just having that plain acrylic paint. But when you do that, you can't add any other media like a liquidy media so that was like a spray mist or watercolor or something and if you add that to it it's just gonna soak right in it won't like sit on top and move around like a watercolor would like you want a watercolor to so yeah so how you know I did this nice media and it looks awesome and how do I fix it how do I fix it? I cover it up. This is how you fix it, guys. I'm telling you. Um, sometimes we freak out because we do that and we think we got to throw it out. But, you know, no one is going to see the backside of this. So I added that acetate that has the gold sparkly sequin -y dots on it. And, um, and that is going to also help kind of hide a little bit, um, put another layer on there. So it it's definitely going to be covered up, so I'm not worried about it. I also added, as you've seen, I'm a little bit, got to catch up here, right? I added that um, Maggie Holmes florally leaf ribbon stuff that I added to my kit, and I used that. I did use my staples, like, on the top and the bottom to try to, like, make sure that it stays nice and snug. Uh, I mean, you don't have to. I think I also added a few little dots of ATG underneath a couple other of the leaves um, and that'll just help keep it mostly secure. So at this point, we are seeing a brighter <laughs> image. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but uh, this is a different day and I'm going to apologize right now because my head kind of gets in the way and I think it must be the way I was sitting that day compared to the night before. So this was not a once done, uh, I used to scrap, like just get it all done in one time. And then now that doesn't always happen. So, and I just, I'm easy on myself, right? But I'm looking through the open book ephemera and seeing if I have some more pieces that maybe are bigger because I took that, um, uh, paper from I want to say it was the hooray collection maybe with the different like cards on it that said different things and I thought I might use one of them but I really liked that tealy color 
And so we're going to use that and we're going to start layering some other stuff. So, um, and so I'm kind of on this journey right now. You can't see all of what I'm doing, but I'm on a journey to find bigger pieces of ephemera because I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to layer some stuff, but I have to find pieces and colors. And so I do kind of go into my stash a little and I got that Maggie Holmes notebooky ephemera. I'm going to use part of that. And I thought I was actually going to use the, all of that, but you'll see, I kind of go a different way as it goes. There's my head again. And then I picked out this, um, card and I don't know if that is from Allie Edwards. I don't know if it's from Citrus Twist. It's an old Project Life card and I'm like, you know what? I kind of like the color. It's a little bit different than that darker teal. Um, you know, maybe I can use a little bit of it. I like, I thought maybe I could use it for journaling, but that's not what's going to happen. I'm going to cut that up too. But that's okay, because hey, and this is the thing that I was thinking about <laughs> once I started getting going, is like, I really can use these pieces as layering. And sometimes I tend not to do it because I'm timid about it, which is interesting because I usually tend to not be. But it's just like, I know once I cut it up, it's cut up and then I can't use it for something else. And I think that's part of it is like, well, but a lot of those big pieces, I'm not going to use them anyway. So here I'm uh, fussy cutting that little label out because I really liked it. And I'm going to use just a smidge bit. Like seriously, I cut this up and like made it work and I'm going to add some other stuff. I'm going to cut up that other card in a minute too. So, <clears throat> and I also had that Cherish uh, little, it's like a vellum pocket thing, envelope pocket thing. <laughs> it's an envelope that's vellum and it has that piece in it that is really similar in color. And so I really like how that looked tucked in. And of course you really can't see that much of that um, musical paper, but I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna attempt to do the stamp on it, even though I put the pop dots on first, which was not very smart, but you know, that is me at my scrapbooking desk. I will do something and then realize that I should have waited <laughs> to do it later. And you think I would learn, you know, after being in <laughs> doing this for a while, but I don't. It's just, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So now I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. And I am, I really am sorry, guys. My head is in the way and it's like, my hair looks like really crappy too. I think I need to dye it. It's been a while. I try not to do it too often so I don't kill my hair and it's just been a bad hair half a year anyway. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about is my hair. It's just all in the way. But yeah, so this is a picture of my new kitten Mako. He is a family kitten. We got him a couple of weeks before Christmas because we found a letter from my daughter to Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Now, I should say this, my kids, and especially my oldest, she's 11, and she definitely knows that there's not a Santa. And we're pretty, you know, vocal, not like ram it down their throats, but we talk about, you know, Santa was real, but it's about the spirit of Santa and that kind of thing. And we also talk about, you know, not everybody believes that. And so, you know, but it was still very, very cute that she wrote this note. So we went out and we got a kitten and he is super cute and he loves to play on my windowsill, which is not surprising because my other cat, Amberly, she loves the windowsill too. So, uh, it was a really fun picture. And I'm sure you'll be seeing lots of pictures of him. I need to make sure I get tons of pictures while he's really cute and little because not to say he's not going to be cute when he gets bigger, but you know, <laughs> adult cat pictures aren't as fun as baby kitten pictures. They just aren't. Um, and so now I'm adding some more stuff. So now that I gabbed about my picture here, which I figure you guys like to know about, right? I mean, <laughs> this is part of the process that I like when I watch other people's 
you know, photos and layouts is I also want to know a little bit about the photo. Okay, so let's get back to the layout. So I'm using those um, diamondy triangle things that are pop dimensional and now I'm trying to add a couple of those hearts. I only want to add the hearts that have colors that are pretty similar. So I did have to kind of pick through <laughs> them <laughs> and then I pull out these um, Felicity Jane pieces. Uh, they're like the rubber charm thingies. I'm using just the mono multi. I like the green more than I like the blue. Um, and I believe if I remember correctly, uh, I've been told that the green is for like embellishments and the blue is for paper. But anyway, that um, it may not hold and it may. Uh, we will see. <laughs> Let's hope it holds. <laughs> I know sometimes with those rubber charms, it's kind of hit or miss. But so I'm using that um, peachy color, corally peachy. I don't know. It matches pretty well. And and then I went into my stash once again and picked out these uh, alpha tile alphas from Maggie Holmes. And I'm using that. And it just says Mako cat and then I'm like oh I like this little banner piece too and so I add it here and it just looks really fun so here's my layout don't forget to check out the rest of the ladies um, and I'm super excited to see what you guys create and uh, I will see you guys next week bye